designed to preserve and to honor the culture of the Amish. I'm here in the Amish country at the Illinois Amish Heritage Center with one of the directors of this upcoming event, Harvest to Home, Jim Fleming. Thanks for having us out here. It's great to have you here. Okay, so there is a great event planned for October where you guys are going to kind of give a, people a little sneak peek into the life of maybe um, the Amish culture. Tell me a little bit about what you have planned. On October 8th and 9th, we will have Harvest to Home here at the Illinois Am Amish Heritage Center. And it is designed to kind of reflect and show how the Amish did harvesting, okay? Uh, the focus this year would be the crop of corn. Uh, we'll be doing some demonstrations with that. But not only will we have field demonstrations, but we have a lot of different things going on here at the campus, okay? Uh, one of the things that we'll be doing, we'll be having our buildings that are open where we are standing in a German school. And this building will be open for people to come in and see how the Amish taught students uh, the German language and other educational activities. We have a tool shed that is open and we also have two Amish homes that uh, uh, will be open as well. Uh, the Schrock House, uh, which if folks haven't been here for a while and we didn't have any activities in 2020, uh, has really made some tremendous progress. It's a, they have made that into a beautiful building. It's restored to how it was back when the Schrock family lived there with authentic dishes and authentic furnishings and clothing and different things of that nature. It's really a beautiful building to see. The Yoder home is in the process of being uh, restored. And we're going to have some kid activities out here as well. We're going to uh, have some bag tournaments and various things like that that they can see. They're just to come here and be able to see how the Amish way of life continues to be. Yes, we're reflecting on the past, but a lot of what they do is still how they did it back in 1865 and some yeah. things. So we're going to be showing off those things as well. Now, I was um, noticing that there are several different varieties of corn. I know you talked about... Um, the harvesting of the corn going to be one of the demonstrations. But we've got broom corn and, and then dent corn. What are the different types of corn? Well, dent corn is, is commercial field corn. Okay. okay. And the reason they call it dent corn is because once it's mature, the kernel gets a dent in the top. Ooh, okay. So it's called dent corn. Fun fact. What you see in the store this time of year, the multicolored ears that you hang on your door for decorations, we call that Indian corn. The proper name for that is flint corn. And the reason they call it that is because it's got an extremely hard kernel, very hard. We'll hopefully have some of that here. We will have broom corn. Now, we've got a broom corn plot growing here, and, and Arcola just recently had the broom corn festival. So the same folks that were there harvesting broom corn and uh, making some brooms, they're going to be here. We have John Spaniel coming up from Newton, and he is really a, a kind of connoisseur of broom corn. And so he's going to be harvesting that. He's going to be running that through a thrasher to separate the seed from the broom top. Yeah. Okay? And so we'll be making brooms and demonstrations of that nature as well. Hopefully we'll have some popcorn here. We are going to have popcorn here, actually. We've got uh, Eli Yoder here. He's got a kettle corn, and so he's going to be popping corn so people will be able to have that. So, yeah, we're going to have all different kinds of <laughs> corn, uh, and a lot of people don't necessarily realize the differences in corn, but there are a lot of differences. And they're going to be able to learn it They here, will be able to um, learn it. For, for your event. Also, tractor enthusiasts, you're going to have um, several different uh, antique tractors for people to check out. Yes, we'll have antique tractors here on the grounds. We'll be doing some field demonstrations with plowing and corn picking. We're going to pick some corn by hand. We're going to let folks have their try at that to see how you pick corn by hand and throw it in the wagon like we used to do. <laughs> uh, we'll have mechanical picker. We'll have a corn sheller here on site. Uh, we're going to grind the cobs, which uh, is used for feed and for bedding. Uh, we're going to grind some corn as well. We'll also have a sawmill here on site. We'll be uh, doing some various wood demonstrations. We've got a gentleman coming down from uh, up at Mokina, Illinois, who's going to be making s cedar shingles. And what they do is it's a big round saw that you stand and you push a block of cedar over and it will cut those little cedar shingles. So he's going to be here as well and he may 
folks may well be able to take one of those home and put it in their closet. Well, very good. <laughs> well, it's going to be a very educational uh, weekend. That's very fitting that we're standing here in the uh, German Amish School building. Let's remind everybody when it is and where this event is taking place. It, on October 8th and 9th, that'll be the Friday and Saturday of Columbus Day weekend. We're located uh, east of Arcola on 133. We're actually about two miles west of Chesterville. The actual address is 284 uh, East Illinois 133. Uh, we're about three miles west of Arthur as well. Mm -hmm. So right here on 133, there'll be signs. Can't and miss mark. it. And it is a free event? No, there is an admission. Okay. Yes, there is an admission fee per person or carload. So let's see how many people we can shove in that's for right. a weekend of fun that's here right. in Amish country. All right. Well, thank you so much for having us out thank here. Thank you. Sounds like it's going to be a great opportunity to get a little inside look at the Amish culture here. Um, and we're just right outside our Arthur and Arcola. And if you need any more information about the fun Harvest to Home event coming up in October, we'll have all the details at TV.